What is up guys? It's Lady Catherine here and I'm going to be coming at you with four Silver Ravenwolf book reviews coming here soon. So please do bear with me. We all have read the reviews. We've all probably have had at some point an experience reading reading a book maybe. Uh, I'm going to give him my two cents. This is a very painful part of my witchy history so I want to get these four books done so we can move on to a lot better books on the market. Now, one quick note, I would like to apologize if you hear people in the background. Um, we are house-setting for a week here at my mom's house, and there's a dog that will paddle, like, walk and pace some days, so you'll hear that. Also, kids in the bathtub at the moment, so you'll hear her talking, you'll hear my wife talking to her as well, so I do apologize for that beforehand. So, let's get started. I want to start this off by reading the back of the book to you guys, and then we'll actually get into the entire, I guess you said the entire review. So, the back of the book says, The Ultimate Book of Shadows for the New Generation. This book has everything a teen which could want and need between two covers. A magical cookbook, encyclopedia, dictionary, and grimoire. It relates specifically to today's young adults and their concerns, yet is grounded in the magical work of centuries past. Information is arranged alphabetically and divided into five distinct categories. 1. Shadows of Religion and Mystery. 2. Shadows of Objects 3. Shadows of Expertise and Proficiency 4. Shadows of Magic and Enchantment 5. Shadows of Daily Life It is organized so readers can skip over the parts they already know or read each section in alphabetical order. Features of this book By the author of the best-selling Teen Witch and Mother of Fourteen Witches A jam-packed learning resource guide for serious young witches <laughs> Sorry guys, that's, that's kind of a funny statement here all categories are discussed in modern terms and their associated historical roots. Includes in notes and footnotes that will cite sources or add clarification. A training companion to Teen Witch and to write a silver broomstick. So that is what the back of the book says. Now let's get into the actual review. Now I am actually reading off of a text document because I was going to sit down and I was going to actually write this out before doing this so I knew exactly what to say. I've done this for all four Silver Raven Wolf books. Uh, this one and the other three will be reviewing as well, okay? So I am going to be glancing over my screen from time to time. While I cannot recommend that a new practitioner read this book, I do feel that in order to be honest and 100% authentic, uh, I have to review this as well as the three other books as I mentioned by this particular author. I started my path very lost and confused as to what authors to read first and in my naive years I started with this book. I had no one to guide me or make recommendations to me in regards to what to and what not to read. This of course was before I remembered that we have the internet to guide us in this day and age. And surprisingly it took me four books before I had that realization. Okay. This is not only a bad book for witches and Wicca in general, but an absolutely horrible book for beginners. The author is not at all serious or knowledgeable about the craft. Even though I purchased this as a teenager myself, I knew little to nothing about witchcraft or Wicca on this, uh, or Wicca. I knew that this book did seem a bit off. I didn't realize until years later, in which I studied many, many good books on the subject, uh, just how horribly off course this book was. For starters, Silver Raven will straight up doesn't know what she's talking about. There are tons of inaccuracies. I have no idea how she could have managed that, other than I guess that she just makes stuff up off the top of her head. There are tons of made-up correspondences, wrong names and meanings uh, for runes, statements that are straight-up historically inaccurate, incorrect lore. I could go on about this, and it would be literally probably about an hour-long video, guys. So we're going to move on instead of listing everything out for you guys here. Not only that, but there are a ton, there is a ton of bashing Christianity, which has no place in a witchcraft or Wicca book. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And having to hide that you're a witch or a Wiccan. 
she gives advice on how to lie about it to your parents in this book, too. And apparently she lumps Wicca and witchcraft as the same thing, which is absolutely incorrect. Witch, Wicca, uh, sorry, witchcraft goes back centuries, whereas witchcraft was created in the 1950s by Gerald Gardner. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't take this author very seriously, especially when she lumps the two together. We all know they're not the same thing. Also, you could be any religion or no religion at all and still practice witchcraft. What's worse is she never talks about the Wiccan read or ethics of magic, which for beginner witches is extremely important. What she does do is spend most of the book giving counseling or motherly advice to potentially troubled teens instead of diving into important aspects of the craft. She just throws a ton of beginner information, most of it inaccurate by the way, and a ton of subjects at the reader. Secondly, this does not cover important one-on-one aspects of the craft. The ones that it does cover is so very, is so poorly, so poorly done. Um, it it just baffles me how an author can be so out of touch and so off base. Um. <clears throat> She tells you what you should or have to do, but does not explain the why you should or have to do that. The book is clearly aimed at teenagers, yet the spells all call for all kinds of specific and even at times expensive ingredients. She never even gives that knowledge about how to write your own spells, which is a core basic component. Also, she talks about needing all kinds of tools that one does not need to practice the craft. The only tool you absolutely need is yourself, and I can guarantee you any good witch that you talk to, any good witch, will know that. Tools are a means for us to uh, communicate with our psyche. Our, our, we, us, we do all the work. They're just a tool to project through and to communicate with our psyche. That's all they are. In the end, it seems like Silver Ravenwolf is diving into the demographic of baby witches. Uh, sorry, baby witch teenagers who don't know that her works aren't reputable. And she preys on how difficult being a teenager can be. And how easily they can be manipulated if they don't know any better. Or maybe for those hot topic goth phase witches who really aren't serious about truly learning the ways of the craft. Either way, I would not recommend this book to anyone. I seriously can hardly believe Lewin agreed to publish this garbage. Stay away from any of her books. So as you guys can see, not, not a book I would recommend. Not a book that I would even remotely recommend. Stay away from her books. And guys, until next time, peace out and namaste.